Here are some U.S. withholding tax requirements to know. We've got income going to foreign people. We've got foreign income coming to U.S. people. What are the rules about withholding income? Well, U.S. withholding tax requirements are designed to ensure that taxes are collected on certain types of income paid to U.S. and foreign persons. Withholding tax rates and requirements vary depending on the type of income and the recipient's tax residency. Now, For U.S. persons, these are individuals, corporations, partnerships, or trusts, as we saw earlier, the definition of what U.S. persons for the multi-jurisdictional tax issues can be. Withholding tax generally applies to wages and certain types of investment income, such as interest, dividends, and royalty. What are some examples of items that are subject to U.S. withholding requirements? These are going to be wages, salaries, and tips, interest, a lot of passive income you see here, uh, retirement, dividend, pensions, annuities, unemployment compensation, lots of passive income. Now, examples of items not subject to U.S. withholding requirements are going to include gifts or inheritances, certain types of tax-exempt interest, life insurance proceeds, and proceeds from the sale of personal property or real estate. We've got the good old U.S. government withholding income from foreign residents, uh, non-resident aliens, and foreign entities, just like your employer is going to withhold income from your paycheck to give to the government. Now, this is going to apply to U.S. source income, such as interest, dividends, rents, royalties, and other service income. The standard withholding rate for these non-resident aliens is going to be 30%, but due to tax treaties, tariffs, and you know, I'm not the uh, foremost expert in all of that, but we've got the U.S. government, the president, uh, Congress, we, they can go back and forth. And basically, if you're, you're friends with the U.S., we'll give you more preferential tax treatment. If you're not friendly with the U.S., then you're going to get absolutely slammed. Now, some examples of items subject to U.S. withholding requirements. These are going to include dividends paid by U.S. corporations to foreign shareholders, interest paid on U.S. bank deposits or U.S. corporate bonds to foreign investors. We got royalties paid to foreign licensors for the use of intellectual property. It just be familiar with these. It's nothing wild you have to memorize. Rents paid to foreign landlords for the use of U.S. real property and fees paid to foreign contractors who perform services in the U.S. Now, here are some items that are not subject to U.S. withholding requirements for foreign recipients, meaning the government's not going to withhold this income. We've got capital gains from the sale of U.S. stocks and foreign securities by foreign investors. We've got interest on bank deposits or certain short-term original issue discount obligations that are going to qualify as portfolio interest. And lastly, proceeds from the sale of personal property or real estate by non-resident aliens, unless it's effectively connected to a U.S. trade or business. Again, as mentioned, just kind of be familiar with this slide, understand this concept and how it ties into the bigger picture, but nothing too wild. Hey there, are you ready to not only pass your CPA exams, but truly understand and enjoy the material while studying? I know it seems impossible, right? Especially to enjoy the material. We'll do it together. Tap into the power of cpa.examprep.ai, where we've got personalized quizzes, multiple choice questions, memorization guides, flashcards, simulations, all tailored to your learning. Our adaptive study planning puts you on the fastest path to success and lifts you back up if you fall behind. Avoid wasting your precious time and money attempting an exam with a low chance of passing because who wants that? We want to get you through this process as quick as possible. Our exam readiness prediction lets you walk in with confidence knowing that you're prepared for success on exam day. Thankfully, there's no payment method needed to get started. So why don't you come join us? Visit cpa.examprep.ai and let's achieve your exam success together.